तेईस अगस्त को जब भारत ने चंद्रमा पर तिरंगा फहराया उस दिन को अब हिंदुस्तान नेशनल स्पेस डे के रूप में मनाया जाएगा द विजुअल्स दैट यू जस्ट सॉ वर फ्रॉम पी एम्स लास्ट ईयर्स एड्रेस एट द इसरोज टेलीमेट्री ट्रैकिंग एंड कमांड नेटवर्क सेंटर इन बेंगलुरु एज द नेशन सेलिब्रेटेड द फर्स्ट नेशनल स्पेस डे टू कोमेमोरेट द सक्सेसफुल मून लैंडिंग ऑफ चंद्रयान थ्री लेट्स रिवाइंड इट्स स्पेस जर्नी सो फार इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन India emerged from the shadows of British colonial rule burdened by poverty and limited resources with a GDP of merely 24.8 billion dollars and a literacy rate of around 12% the country faced immense socio-economic challenges critics from Britain and other western countries dismissed India's space aspirations as unrealistic dreams of a struggling nation they even labeled india as a country of snake charmers but that country of snake charmers has now reached the moon and aspires to go beyond but how did it all happen despite the naysayers india was blessed with visionary leaders who believed in harnessing science and technology for national development prime minister jawaharlal nehru a firm advocate of scientific progress was one such leader he laid the foundation for india's future technological advancements he found a spirited person in dr vikram sarabhai a pioneering scientist who is often regarded as the father of the indian space program Sarabhai firmly believed that a robust space program was crucial for addressing India's socio-economic challenges. India's space journey officially began in 1962 with the establishment of the Indian National Committee for Space Research, which later became the Indian Space Research Organisation in 1969. The first major milestone came on April 19, 1975. when india launched its first satellite aryabhat named after the ancient indian mathematician and astronomer this historic event was made possible with significant assistance from the soviet union the early days of india's space program were fraught with challenges limited financial resources meant that indian scientists often had to innovate with what little they had Iconic images from the 1960s and 70s depict scientists transporting rocket parts on bicycles and bullock carts to the Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station in Kerala. These images are a testament to the ingenuity and determination of the Indian scientific community which was undeterred by the lack of sophisticated infrastructure. Determined to achieve self-reliance, India embarked on the development of its own satellite launch vehicles. The first significant success came with the satellite launch vehicle that is SLV-3 which successfully placed the Rohini satellite into orbit on 18 July 1980. This achievement marked India as the sixth country in the world to develop indigenous satellite launch capabilities. One of ISRO's most notable achievements is the development of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle or PSLV. First launched in 1993, the PSLV quickly became the backbone of India's satellite launch program due to its versatility and reliability. It has since launched over 300 satellites for various countries, earning a reputation as one of the most cost-effective and reliable launch vehicles in the world. In the 1990s India faced a significant hurdle in its quest for advanced space technology when the United States imposed sanctions to prevent Russia from transferring cryogenic engine technology to India. Undeterred, Indian scientists embarked on an arduous journey to develop indigenous cryogenic technology. 
This culminated in the successful launch of the GSLV D5 in January 2014 using an indigenously developed cryogenic upper stage. India's space program achieved international acclaim with its interplanetary missions. The Mars Orbiter mission, also known as Mangalyaan, was launched on November 5, 2013. It made India the first Asian nation to reach Mars orbit and the fourth space agency in the world to do so. Remarkably, Mangalyaan was achieved on a shoestring budget of around $74 million, highlighting ISRO's cost-effective approach. Today, India is recognized as a major player in the global space community. With a robust portfolio that includes the Chandrayaan missions to the moon, successful deployment of navigation and communication satellites, and collaborative projects with the other space agencies, ISRO has firmly established itself among the top space-faring nations. Looking ahead, India's space program shows no signs of slowing down. After successful landing on moon last year by Chandrayaan-3, ISRO is all set for the Gaganyaan. ISRO is also planning missions to study the Sun, that is Aditya L1, and Venus Chukriyan 1, along with ambitious projects to develop reusable launch vehicles and expand its satellite constellation for various applications. India's space journey is a remarkable narrative of perseverance, innovation, and visionary leadership. From the humble beginnings of carrying rocket parts on bicycles to achieving interplanetary missions, India's space program exemplifies what can be achieved with determination and strategic planning. So, this Space Day, let's cheer for those great people who made it possible. Who you think was the greatest person in India's space history and amongst them inspire you the most? Tell us in the comment box. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.